Thanks for joining us. I'm Joel Lopez. Here's a look at your top stories. Tonight, a woman has died from carbon monoxide poisoning in Milam County. This in a house along 12th Street in Cameron. Police say the 55 year old was using her stove for heat and the room did not have any ventilation. Her son was home at the time, but is said to be OK. A donation of water is available for people in Temple. The military is delivering a water buffalo to residents who are without any warning water to fill the need as needed. The water will be available at 11th North 6th Street in Temple until 7 p.m. You can see the pictures of volunteers donating supplies to people living at the village at Meadow Bend Complex who have been without water for nearly a week. Organizers are also asking people to donate containers so they can fill up water as needed. The infamous Magnolia is stepping up to help Texans. Magnolia is teaming up with Habitat Texas, Disaster Relief Services, Feeding Texas, and Mission Waco to raise money for relief. They've kickstarted the efforts by donating $100,000. According to Magnolia's website, 100% of funds donated to their Texas Forever link will go to organizations on the ground providing immediate relief. Tomorrow is Monday, and of course that means some schools are back in session. Waco, Gatesville, and Academy ISD will be open tomorrow. Belton ISD is closed tomorrow. Marlin ISD is closed Monday, but may reopen on Tuesday. Killeen ISD will be closed both Monday and Tuesday. For colleges and universities, Baylor University and McLennan Community College will be open tomorrow. Classes for Texas A&M will be held virtually both Monday and Tuesday. Now it's time for a check on your first alert forecast. And I'm meteorologist Josh John, so we'll look at your updated 10-day forecast. Got a cold front coming through tonight, so we'll be cooler tomorrow with temperatures in the 60s. Your overnight lows will drop down to the 30s as well on Tuesday morning. Start a warm up that takes us to the mid-70s by the middle of the week. We're talking 50s as another cold front comes in, bringing us some rain chances and looks like that unsettled pattern will be continuing on into next weekend and the new week.